Hey everybody, Mark here. I just had a visit this morning from a mental health in the community person from Newbury Mental Health. We had a really, really interesting discussion. I'm very, very grateful for the gentleman for coming. We had a discussion and it was really, really interesting and actually turned out to be very educational for me. He asked me some questions for 15, 20 minutes. He believes some of my problems, the dissociative disorder, could be because the right side of my brain is the part of the brain, the um, daydreaming part of the brain, the, the creativity part of the brain, the part of the brain that makes you creative, makes you daydream, all that kind of stuff. He believes that my problems may be caused by the fact that the right side of my brain is incredibly dominant over the left side. The left side of your brain is the logical side, the sort of mathematical side, the side that makes sense of things and gives you a sense of logic and, and understanding and reality. The reason he says that is because we spoke about what I like to do in my, in my, with my time and I said I like to be creative writing, I write lots of stories, I create characters, I love to read, I listen to music and I music kind of helps me to create stories as well and he immediately said well you're obviously a very creative creatively minded person and it suggests that the right side of your brain is is dominant over the left side some people are incredibly logical and analytical and very matter of fact whereas other people are very creative and sort of they daydream and they fantasize and they have the ability to sort of have visions of things. You read a book and you have a very clear image in your mind of what's going on in that book and some other people might read the same book and if, if their brain is more logical they can't quite create that image. The problem is that when one side becomes absolutely dominant that can cause problems and that's what he thinks is happening with me. The right side of my brain, the creative whimsical side, whimsical, I don't know. I probably am a little bit whimsical, but the right side of my brain absolutely dominates the left side, and so the left side is trying to be more logical and, and pull me back from that sort of creative side, but because it's dominated so much by the creative side of my brain, it can't quite do it. So that was interesting. Certainly the idea that the right side of my brain absolutely dominates, that, that immediately resonated with me because I am a, a very creative person. I do spend most of my time making up stories and characters and writing and scribbling them down on the back of envelopes when I haven't got a notebook with me, whatever. He asked me how I was doing, I sort of told him, yeah, I'm, you know, not too bad, everything's, I'm, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not, I'm not a danger to myself or other people. And then um, he was here maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. It was a really good meeting, really pleased that he came to see me. He's coming back to see me again next Friday, so we'll have more discussion. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to, to, to share that with you. He's going to go back to Dr. Raju at the hospital and, and they'll obviously add it to my notes and, and confer with each other. That knowledge is going to help to treat my condition, which I'm delighted about. Hope you're all having a great day. Thank you very much for watching.